So we're here this afternoon. We're going to do a cryo pen on Nati. Nati is a 10 year old English Spaniel and she has two masses that are cutaneous in nature yet benign. One is on her left cervical region. The other is on her right uh, mandibular labia. We're going to put a little lidocaine bleb under each of them. Uh, I find that it's not necessary, but she's a somewhat mm -hmm. fractious dog, and I think that in her particular case, it's going to make life a little bit easier. Elbow up, Heather. Thanks, Heather. Now we're going to need to shave this. We didn't shave it. So after I put the lidocaine in, we'll give it a little shave, let the lidocaine work. So we're gonna go ahead and freeze this mass from the base to the apex. We're gonna freeze it over a period of about 45 seconds. We're gonna do our best to remove any of the ice that is forming. So we get the application of cold directly on the tissue. Once the mass is completely frozen, we'll go through a thaw cycle. Given the large size of this mass, we're going to use the D3 tip. And again, we're going to freeze the entire mass. Uh, we're going to work on approximately 50% of the mass at a time because of the, the size of this mass. And then we'll move to the other side. gas. Making sure that we knock off any ice crystals so we get the full thermal effect on the mass. Again, the lidocaine is not necessary, but in an area of the face, definitely makes it less arduous to get the mass frozen. So this is the mass post-thaw cycle, and we're going to start again at the base, freezing as we go. knocking off any accumulation of frost so that the mass has as quick a freeze cycle as possible. Okay. So this is the mass post-thaw cycle and we're gonna again Start at the base, and we are using the D3 tip. And we're going to freeze this mass in a uniform manner, knocking off the ice crystals as they form. Stop for a second, Tori. Okay, Nazi. The goal here is to freeze as quickly as possible so as to form ice crystals intracellularly and rupture the cell membranes. 
ensure that you have a complete freeze so the tissue the size the depth of the tissue is such that you need to ensure that you have the mask completely frozen that's what the mask looks like post freeze uh, it'll probably take in a mask this size approximately three weeks for this tissue to completely necrose and scab over at which point we typically recheck them in some cases in a large mass as this one we'll need to do a repeat treatment